video we're going to have a look at listing posts by custom field so we're looking at the start date and the end date so for current events the events have a start date before today's date and an end date just after today's date we then have future events where the start date is after today's date and then we have past events where the end date is older than today's date now to set that up what we've done is we've created a custom post type called events and what we did is we also then created a field group now in the field group we have the event start date and event end date and we've made sure that the event start date returns the date value in this format and this is the format that's needed for w query to work so we make sure that both the start and the end dates return the value in this date but for display you can select a different date format which is what we've done so what we've also done in order to determine today's date is we have a function here and in that function we basically get the date and we then also have it in the same function as the date returned in the advanced custom fields when we select the start or the end date so all the dates are in the same format and in the function then we simply return the date as today's date when we go and have a look in oxygen builder and i'm going to head over here to the repeater for the current events so the start date is older than today's date and the end date is newer than today's date so if we look at the query you'll see here that we first of all made sure that because we're in the archive we've selected the post type as post type so here in insert dynamic data because we're in the archive we can simply go to advanced and say that the post type should be equal to post type the next thing that we're going to have a look at are the meta queries for the date so what we've done is we've created two meta queries one with the event start date one with the event end date then what we've said is we need to compare today's uh, the start date and make sure that the the start date is less than today's date and that the end date is greater than today's date to do that then we created that function to determine today's date and what we do then is we simply copy that function and when we look at the value that we're going to use for comparison then we use that value returned with today's date and we'll then head over to advanced insert php function return value we'll put in today's date and we're going to do the same thing here then for the event end date and now what will happen is that the start date is compared to today's date and the event date the end date is compared to today's date and if if they meet that query then the current event will show the next event we're going to look at is the future events so in the future events what we want to do is make sure that the start date is newer than today's date so i'm going to head over into the query and you'll see here that once again we enter the post type and the next thing that we do is we then look at the meta query and here we're saying the event start date must be greater than or newer than today's date and we use the same php function that we used to get today's date if the start date is greater than today's date then it will list that event and similarly if we want to look at past events we'll go and have a look at that query and now what we want to do is make sure that the end date is less than today's date so if it's older than today's date then display the post and that works on the end date so we have the end date and it's less than and then we have a function here that looks at returning today's date and if it's older than today's date it will list the event so with all those parameters in place you'll see here that we have the events listed as they should be so just to test that what i'm going to do then is i'm going to create another event so i'm going to head over to the back end here 
and I'm going to create another event and with this event then we're going to just uh, we'll add another current event so it will bracket the start and end dates so here we go if I scroll down to the event start date I'm going to set the event start date to before today and I'm going to set the end date to the 17th and with that done we'll publish and now if we go and have a look at the events you will see that that event now falls into current events so right so here we are on the events and you'll see now that we have two current events I'll do the same for a new future event so we'll just call that future event A and what I'll do then is we'll make the event start date the 17th and the event end date uh, any date after that we'll publish and now you'll see that we have a second post appearing in the future events there's the second event and then the same thing now is I'm going to add a new event or what I'll do in this case perhaps then is just change the future event A and I'm going to change the start and the end date to dates before today so that ended yesterday and then we're going to update the post and now when I refresh the page you'll see that that event has gone from a future event to a past event so that's how you can manipulate your listing for posts in this case events based on a start and end date so hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching